Hi, I'm glad you made it. I'm Lily and I wanted to bring you along for this little adventure, I guess. Because a while ago I decided to get some paint that was really, like, wet in itself. And then I started mixing it together a little bit and just pouring it out on a canvas. What I want to give you with this is not only knowledge about what you should or should not do, but also the courage to try it, because it might work, it might be a big mess up in the beginning, but I think, I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with it as long as you just give it a try. A few days has passed since I finished these and I'm like, they're cute. They're not great, they're not perfect, but they're cute. So let's start with the like pink flames. I didn't really have a plan for the edges, I was more like, I'll paint that later. And we all know that's not gonna happen, so a beautiful <laughs> And then, like the flower of death, or I don't really, yeah, let's, let's say it's a flower. I, I had a little bit more of a plan around the edges, because I let everything like go over the edges and made sure that there was something everywhere. It's shiny and beautiful, but ugly. I think it took roughly a week for all of these to like completely dry and even though I do like the result, the whole having to wait part, that is not my strong suit. And the more I look at them, the more I feel like I could have done things differently or better and like, I think, I think it's one of those projects you shouldn't look too much at before it's like done. Anyways, I ran out of basically all the paint I had, which is so sad because I can't go get more right now. So, extremely limited palette, but let's, 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 uh, <clears throat> let's pour a little more. <laughs> Nothing really happened here. <laughs> but there's now paint everywhere. <laughs> Thank you. 
it has been a while and everything has now dried really well like I think these ones have been in here for like four weeks or something three or four weeks they are most definitely dry um, so are these and this I, I'm sorry but I this is my favorite it's it has its flaws just like me but it's got my colors and it's messy like crazy just like me so I like it but I I gotta admit like I like all of them in different ways because well I tried something new and well it might not have turned out fabulous or amazing but it's a start I chickened out. Good job on that. Um, I only put resin on these four. And uh, the reason for that is that I just... I don't feel comfortable <laughs> doing this without testing all the furs. And I'm really unsure if I have enough resin. And I kind of don't... I can't really dump more on them right now, so I, I don't know how this is gonna end up and I just feel like I'd rather waste these four and hopefully save the rest instead of, you know, destroy all of them at the same time. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Houston pet prop. There, there's <clears throat> there's resin everywhere. I'm too tired for this. paper. I have glove but no paper. It's kind of funny that before I started this madness I made sure to check so well that my desk was like completely leveled. But did I check the damn dresser? Nope. No, I didn't. Okay. The conclusion. I am stupid. <laughs> no, okay. Maybe that's not the complete conclusion. The conclusion is... I... It seems overly complicated to put resin on it. Maybe it's not, maybe it's just me. But it feels overly complicated. <laughs> so I wonder if there's a simpler way to make it all glossy.
I absolutely gave up and just decided that, hey, let's go for something that should work. So I ordered this. It's a high gloss varnish and it should work. I'm kind of scared because this is like, I don't know what else to try if this doesn't work, so it better freaking work. I'm just gonna jump off the deep end here and use it on a painting that I really like. So, ha, <laughs> wish me luck. <laughs> oh, don't Oh god, maybe that was too much. Oh, please don't break the painting that I like. It doesn't. <gasps> oh! This is Hero! This is Hero's first day in the studio! And oh my god, he's amazing! Isn't he? Woo! <laughs> Super amazing! Don't you think, sweetie? Please stop.
Okay, so the text does not work very well, which also means that the little bouquet lines does not work very well, but that's fine. Look at the freaking colors. Oh my god. I hope you enjoyed this little journey as much as I did. I've had a lot of fun with it and I have so many more ideas that I want to try out. So there will be more videos in the future when it comes to pouring paint because it's it's really really fun to do and you will never have like two paintings that look exactly the same. Like never. <laughs> So if you do want to try it out, I really think you should, because it's it's such a fun thing to do, and um, I can't wait to see what you're gonna make. Like, if you do create something, can you please just send me a picture on the Discord and just show what you made, because I would love to see what you're making too. Wouldn't you too, Hero? Yay, Hero would like to see it too. <laughs> Uh-huh. Chocolate boop. <laughs>